takes determination, dedication, and a whole lot of work to become a champion. Sometimes we've got to go back to see how we used to do it. The UCA signee Landon Trusty takes the pass from Ken and goes in with a nice turnaround for two. Now corner from Darian Wallace. It doesn't get any prettier than that right there. Now Landon Trusty. But down the stretch, big play. They get it outside to Andy Brakefield. Hits it and he can feel it. One more time, he says, get me the ball. Andy Brakefield, you're a hero tonight. Nails another three. Lakeside Rams bury this alley-oop. And the Harrison Goblin as the Rams go on to win the championship. 58 to 45. We give you all for 32 minutes straight. Are you going to work hard for that name on your jersey? I have one more question for you. Do you have what it takes to be a champion? This is Coach Tommy White. Welcome to the home of the Lakeside Rams. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lucas Tuberville alongside my partner, Parker Hudnall. Tonight, we're getting ready for the tip-off between your Lakeside Rams and the Pine Bluff Zebras here on Lakeside TV. Lakeside is coming off a heartbreaking loss to Hot Springs, 54-64, to extending their losing streak to three games in a row. The Rams sit at 13 overall, 13 and 10 overall, with the conference record of four and seven. Byron Bluff is coming off back-to-back -back wins over Sheridan and El Dorado. Seavers are currently sitting at 15 and five overall, eight and two in Good conference. Only losses being to Benton and Lake Hamilton. Last time these two teams met, the Seavers left no doubt, winning 57 to 30. As they announce the starting five on the floor, we'll take a look at the starting five graphic here. Sloan Hayes at that point guard spot playing tonight with the broken nose. He will have a face mask on. He suffered a broken nose in their last game against Hot Springs. Hermosu hey, at shooting guard yep. for the Rams. Had a having a slow season so far from the from the perimeter. You know, looking to step it up tonight. And AJ Howard, a uh, big name at that small forward position. Kind of that other star for the Rams. Um, behind Sloan Hayes, Anthony Lambert at power four. They really need him to get going because he could really be that third guy for this team. And River Cook at center, the big man in the middle. Can kind of see it on the broadcast. Sloan Hayes does have that mask on for the broken nose. You know, Lucas, the Rams really do need a big performance from A.J. Howard tonight. And Sloan Hayes is kind of been having to do a lot of himself on the offensive end. It's, Howard didn't have a great game against Hot Springs. You know, like to see a bounce back game for them. Absolutely. It's a big game for the Rams. 
Pine Bluff, a great basketball team, but the Rams need to win tonight. As you can tell from the tip, Pine Bluff has the clear size advantage, so the Rams, if they want to win this game, going to have to be tough, going to have to make shots in the perimeter. Courtney Crutchfield, top of the key. Missouri commit. Gets the layup there in the first two points of the ball game. Got to block out Crutchfield, five in red for the Rams. He's the best athlete on the court tonight. Lambert corner three, no good. The Rams want a chance to win tonight. They're going to have to knock those down. Great shot down low for number 14, Darion Graydon. Biggest player on the court for Pine Bluff. He takes over the starting center position this year after Mr. His last name is West. The big man for Pine Bluff graduated. Lambert the drive. Great bucket for Anthony Lambert. Rams get on the board. Student section getting loud here early. Theme tonight, construction, as you can tell. Corner three here. On the mark for number 11, Randy Emerson. Pine Bluff, I feel, is a better shooting team this year than they were a season ago, and that's scary to think about when they won state last year. Hermosillo out to Howard on the corner. Back to Hermosillo. Took down low, tough shot, gets it to go. Rams hanging in early. They're gonna have to stay consistent offensively tonight. Yeah, there can't be long stretches where they go without a bucket or else Pine Bluff will run away with it. Still there for River Cook as it falls out of the hands of Graydon. You know, in the NBA, Parker, you see guys get broken noses, something down their face, they have to wear the mask. Yep. Sometimes they play lights out. They yep. play better than they ever have before. You hope to see that out of Sloan Hayes tonight. Number zero, tough shot, no good. Rebound, Pine Bluff. Can he be the next, the next mask LeBron? Drive there by Crutchfield, fouled by, looks like, Hermosillo, or Howard. And call it on Howard. All up top. Five minutes to go here in the first. Back inside. Looks like a clean play from Anthony Lambert there, but refs disagree. As you can tell, the Rams are starting the game with some sort of 2-3 matchup zone. And this is the first free throw. This is the second. Student section helping out there for sure. Strong rebound by Sloan Hayes. Imagine it must be difficult to play in one of those masks. Probably pretty uncomfortable. Gonna take some getting used to. Might be a slow first quarter for him. You never know. Hayes dry spin move. Puts up the shot. No good. Emerson gets the ball now. Up court to Hall. Howard runs into Crutchfield, be a foul. Two early fouls for A.J. Howard. Trusty and Pinner checking in. Pinner played great in the JV game earlier tonight. Yeah, Pinner came in against Hot Springs the last game on Tuesday and was an immediate 
energy boost defensively. Corner three, Crutchfield hits the backboard. Pinner now running the other way. Trusty for three. No good. Rebound, Hall. Bad miss there from Crutchfield. And a bucket there for Braylon Hall. But Crutchfield can shoot open threes, so don't want to give him that look too often. Pinner shaking up Emerson. He goes to the basket, trying to get the floater, could not get it to go in. Pinner's got great handles, great speed. He's going to try and use that to his advantage with these minutes he's got here. Hall misses a three, rebound Lambert. He's one of the better true point guards on this Lakeside team, really knows how to handle and distribute. Trusty on the wing. He's looking for Cook inside, gets it to Hayes up top. Back to Trusty on the wing. To Pinner. Drives back to Trusty. Great ball movement here. They're going to call a travel on Trusty. You know, it didn't really look like he lifted that pivot foot, but ref saw it otherwise. The travel. Yeah, it was great action by the Rams. Just. Got into the paint with those twin towers, 14 and 11 for Pine Bluff, and couldn't get a shot off. Inside, basket is good for Graydon. Strong finish from Graydon. Lakeside has stalled offensively and the struggles continue. Can't have turnovers if you're the Rams. Empty possessions. You allow Pine Bluff to go on runs and they can score points in a hurry. Lakeside's just gotta be better about taking care of the ball here out of the break. They're playing. Solid defensively. They just got to start putting up points on the other end. And they can be right back in this game. Yeah, that's how it was when they played Pine Bluff at Pine Bluff. You know, Lakeside had a great defensive game plan heading in, and they executed it. They held Pine Bluff to only 57 points, which is not bad at all. But offensively, Lakeside only scored 30. So... Oh, bringing it down for the Zebras. A little over two and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Crutchfield in the corner, guarded by Penner and Howard. All back up top. Back to Crutchfield. He's going to drive in on Howard. Great defense by Howard. It's going to be out of bounds. And he'll go to Lakeside. It's a great job by A.J. Howard, aggressive defensively, and you can see the student section giving it to Crutchfield. You know, some of those football players in the front row, that Lakeside student section, maybe still a little bit sorry or sore from that uh, Pine Bluff loss in the playoffs. And another miscommunication. That'll be Sloan's second turnover. Got to get on the same page for Lakeside. Yeah, there seems to really be a little bit confusion offensively, what they're running and who's supposed to go where. See if they can get a few more stops and figure that out. He had a nice end to this first quarter. Played good defense. Crutchfield thought about the three. Gets it to Graydon down low. Great shot by number 20 for Pine Bluff. Yeah, that was a great finish by 20 from Pine Bluff. Had a hand in his face and still managed to finish. That is going to be another turnover for Lakeside. 
I think that's three or four possessions in a row now that they haven't even got a shot at Lucas. Got to change something. Maybe, I don't know what's going on. It's, something is off right now, the lakeside. Just try and get to the end of the first quarter, make some adjustments here. Drive by number 20, shot is up and good. 20 and red is just killing the Rams right now off the dribble. And the whole point of his own is to keep from getting beat off the dribble. For a moment, I thought they were going to call that out of bounds. I did too. I, was, I, I would have been sick to my stomach. I might have uh, lost some fluids, if you know what I mean. But it is still the Rams ball, and we'll see if they can score here with about a minute to go. Cut into the 12-point deficit. There goes another turnover for Lakeside. That is going to be the story of the night. And Coach Lamb is not even going to let the first quarter end. He called a timeout, 50 seconds to go, and he is livid. I mean, what do you what do you tell the team right now for Coach Lamb? I, I, I don't I, just limit turnover. I mean, I'm not sure what it is. I don't know. The miscommunication is on another level right now. And it's not like they're forced turnovers. None of them have really been forced. It's just lack of focus, concentration. Yeah, I mean, you can't go four or five possessions in a row without even getting a shot off, without even getting a chance at points. Let's see what they can do here. Oh my, that is another turnover. A steal by Pine Bluff. They're just, I don't know what's going I've on. I've never seen this before. River Cook gets the rebound right there. Under 30 seconds to go now in the first. Oh my, this is unheard of. This is insane. I'm not is big. I'm not big seven? on overreacting, but this is this is insane. This, this is. is I, I don't know what it is tonight. I, the Rams have not gotten a shot up in the last seven. What seven possessions? Yeah, I mean that. Wow. Crutchfield makes a great grab and Graydon with a great put back slam. And we're just gonna run this first quarter out. Man, that is not what you like to see. You know, no. Pine Bluffs up 20 to four. End of the first quarter, Rams seven, I believe, straight possessions, the turnover. I think so. We'll have to look back at the, at the film, but I think the last, I don't know, three minutes of that first quarter, they didn't get a shot off. The last two to three minutes. As so. you see, Coach Lamb talking to his players about the turnovers. We'll take a look at the upcoming schedule for Lakeside. Only a few games left in this season. Oh, wow. I, oh, here, they, here it comes. There it is. Lake Hamilton, that first game against them was at their place. It was actually a really close game. Lakeside only lost about five or six, if I believe. Was in the game, one point game going in the fourth quarter and Sloan Hayes fouled out, so maybe they could seal that one. We'll be broadcasting the last two home games of the year, Lake Hamilton and Benton. Yep. Make sure to be there for the Benton game. It is senior night, so go ahead. Represent these seniors well. JV starting at 5 p.m. for all those. Girls at 6, boys at 7. I mean, if, if if that doesn't show you how upset Coach Lamb is that we went into that graphic, came back out, and he was still yelling at you, his players. Yeah. I mean, he still is right to the end of the timeout, or of the quarter end. Same five that ended the first quarter. Pinner, Hayes, Howard, Trusty, and Cook. I think right now, you know, one of the main reasons he leaves Pinner in the game 
is he just wants a guy that can handle the ball. You know, he wants to see what Penner can do at the point guard position. He's a great ball handler. Showing it there. Hayes, corner three. No good. Unlucky roll there. Rebound Emerson. Good job by Penner, though. That was the first shot the Rams have gotten up in a long time. A long time. Oh, floater is good. Through the contact. 22 to 4. Part of a zone defense is help defense. So when one person gets beat, the other slides over, and none of that just took place. Turnover struggles continue. Emerson on the other end over Trusty. Pass. They're going to get a charge there. Great job by Sam Trusty yeah. to take the bump. That was a great job by Sam Trusty. You know, Emerson's a big man. But Trusty uh, stuck his nose in there and took a charge. <laughs> I imagine Coach Lamb is drawing up something where Pinner has the ball in his hands. Is from my point of view, it seems like he's been the best guy with the ball in his hands so far tonight, making the most happen. I mean, Pinner's quick, and the defense is going to have to stay on their feet. That could lead to others being open like Hayes in that last, not the last possession, one before that. He should have knocked down those shots. Yeah, we've already gotten a couple, like you were saying, some good looks, some threes, some open catch and shoot that we got to hit, you know, and now being down 18, you really kind of need to go on a little run here so you're not down 20 plus at, at the break. Same five for the Rams. Yeah, he's leaving this five in there, wants to see what they can do. Pinner going to try and make it happen himself. He's fouled, and he'll head to the line for two. It's a great job by Pinner, though. In all honesty, he's probably been the best offensive player for Lakeside so far tonight, even though he hasn't scored. But we only have four points, so in terms of making things happen, he's been great. And here goes two for two from the line there. Under seven minutes to go in the first half now. Rams still down big, but they show signs of life. Corner Hall for three. Off the mark, rebound Howard. They're going to say step out of bounds. And that's why the Rams are playing zone defense. Four shots like that. Confusion. A little setup here for the zebras in the inbound. Good defense by the Rams. Crutchfield guarded by Howard. Great defense by the Rams here. And Hayes is going to be called for the foul. Pine Bluff just too big on the inside. It's so hard to rebound against them. It's what makes them so good. First free throw is good for Terry. Two for two there. Great pass, to be honest with you, by A.J. Howard. Foul called on Pine Bluff. Ah. 
Good job by Hayes drawing the foul. See if they can get a good look here. It's been a very long time since the last made field goal for this Rams team. Trusty corner three, no good. Rebound Hayes, back to Cook, down low. Tough shot, doesn't fall, rebound. Good effort, good effort by the Rams, just couldn't get it to drop. Great basket there for Zebras, tough finish. Hayes blocked from behind. It's a good move by Hayes, but he got in the paint. There's just too many zebras in there. Deep three. No good. Rebound Cook. Rams down by 20. Five minutes to go here in the first half. That was a loud hit out of bounds. Yeah, it was. See if Lake Tide can make something happen these last five minutes. Pinner out to Hayes. Hayes to the corner for Howard. Howard over to Pinner. Pinner pulls the three. No good rebound. Good looking stroke by Pinner, to be honest with you. It's one of the best looking shots, or best shot opportunities, I mean, for the Rams tonight. Big block by Sloan Hayes yeah. over Braylon Hall. Great block by Sloan Hayes. That's your point guard. You know, I know offensively the Rams usually like to pass up the threes and get it in the paint, but I think tonight any open look you get, you got to shoot it. Great defense there by River Cook. A.J. Howard gets the ball up court to Pinner. I want to see him get ready to check in. Pinner. Moves back inside, great move, shot no good though, rebound. Pine Bluff. Good effort by Pinner. And he chucks it right to Zebra's defender. The drive, another easy basket. Coach Unlucky. Lamb, it, Go ahead. he can't think of what to do. I mean, yeah. I'm watching his, his body language on the bench, he doesn't know. Corner three for Howard goes, though. Good shot by A.J. Howard. Wearing some different basketball shoes tonight. He's got the Nike Cut GT2s on. Oh. Did have the new KDs on uh, in previous games. He had the green ones, but uh, switched it up tonight. The colorway he used to wear is called Wanda. So, not sure why it's called Wanda. Three and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Rams have yet to crack double digits. Pine Bluff up 30 to nine. 
See what the Rams can do here these last three and a half minutes. They're sticking with the zone. Two, three zone. Deep three from the logo. No good. You know, I will say the only negative about a zone is it's harder to rebound because you don't have a man. You can just look and immediately block out. You got to go find one, so. Penner, great job getting it inside to Howard, who's fouled on the shot attempt. Had a little charity strike for two. First free throw falls. A.J. Howard looking for his fifth point here tonight with this free throw. Goes two for two there. See if the Rams can get this to 10. Three-pointer no good. By Howard loses, loses the rebound. Pine Bluff capitalizes off it and another costly turnover for Lakeside. Pinner just couldn't get a hold of it. I mean, this team is almost unrecognizable. I know. They're just not playing like themselves. I mean, I've never seen them turn the ball over this many times. Not a, not a game this year. Three-pointer here on the way, on the mark. Penner is fouled by Dindy. Good job by Penner getting the ball out of trouble there. You know, Park, with the way the Rams have been playing, I'm surprised we haven't seen any Sam Gross tonight. No, I know. No, uh, you, you could get him in there, try to get him some catch and shoot opportunities. Mm -hmm. Just haven't seen it. Yeah, arguably the best catch and shoot guy on this team. You know, put him in there, run a set for him, see if they can just get an open look just to, I don't know, get some momentum, get something to go down. Pinner goes 0 for 2 from the line. Can't get anything to fall right now after the Rams. Then he moves inside, shot is up, no good. Rebound, knocked out of bounds by Lexington. Hayes comes in for Pinner. Pinner just could not get it going. He has been a spark though at that point guard position. He's made some stuff happen. Deep three here, no good rebound, Trusty. Strong board by Trusty, that's what the Rams need more of. Can't keep giving these second chances to good teams like Pine Bluff. Nearly another turnover by the Rams, but possession will stay here. Just, I mean, Pine Bluff just getting their hands all over the ball tonight. Again, another one there. Foul called on Hermosillo there. And again, a, a lot of these turnovers aren't really even forced. They're just bad passes or just not catching the ball. I mean, I didn't even notice this till now, Lucas, but Courtney Crutchfield's on the end of the bench. You know, we've barely seen him even play. He played the first two or three minutes of the game and hasn't played since. They haven't needed him. I mean, when the Rams are playing like this, as the Zebras, Courtney Crutchfield being one of your best players, you know, it's probably smarter to keep him on the bench. And, and I mean, the coaches know he's a D1 football commit. Right. He knows he's a D1 football commit. Right. Obviously, you're not going to try and you don't want to get hurt in a game that you're up by 20 plus, you know? Right. 
committed to Missouri to play football, by the way. Courtney Crutchfield, he's top 10 nationally at the wide receiver position. I believe he's 51st overall. Yeah. I was just looking at it today. I think he's 8th in the position. Under a minute to go now. Hayes drives, puts up a shot, no good. Yeah, they're Rams forcing a turnover. Go ahead, Lucas. They're looking to keep uh, Crutchfield healthy. Is that coming up uh, next couple games? Whitehall and Benton. Yeah, it's going to be two tough games. Whitehall's got arguably the best player in the conference, and Deshaun Hayes, who seems to score at least 25 every night. And Hermosillo corner three, bang! There Jacob we go. Hermosillo. Yeah. You know, that might be the method of scoring tonight for the Rams. You might want to get Sam Gross in there and just look for catch and shoot opportunities wherever you can get them. Yeah, just get something going. He can really shoot it out of that corner spot. He actually told me the other day he's shooting 60% from three from the corner. So, this year. 60% is pretty dang high. That is incredible, actually. He did say from the corner spot specifically, but... They do have a play they run where it gets him open in the corner. So maybe we might see him in the second half. Three here for Pine Bluff off the mark. Out of bounds. The Zebras, two and a half seconds left in the first half. Lakeside has enough time to get a shot off. They did not start the clock. They did not start the clock. Happens to the best of us. You can see the guy at the scores table say, my fault. It's okay. We all make mistakes in life. You are forgiven. Yes, you are. Chucks it up. Oh my goodness. You put way wow. too much on. That was impressive. Oh my god. All right. Pine Bluff up 35 to 14, heading in to the half. Parker and I will step aside, stick around for the second half. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV.
Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV.
Getting ready for the start of the second half now. Pine Bluff up 35 to 14 after a turnover heavy first half from the Rams. Quick shot from the Zebras, no good. Deep three, no good again. Got to get a rebound for Lake Side, and they do. Courtney Crutchfield is back in the game for Pine Bluff with some different shoes on. Had the reverse Grinches on the first half. Now he's got on some black shoes. Howard drives, foul. Hard foul by the Zebras. Howard's first free throw from the strike. Misses. And he sinks the second, cutting the deficit to 20. One thing about A.J. Howard, he's really improved his overall shooting from the time. Oh, what a steal by Sloan Hayes. Great job by Sloan Hayes to get the steal, even with the mask. See, like, me right there, I'm pulling that from the volleyball. All right. You know what I'm saying? I All mean, right. Open looks. Come on. River Cook down low off the great pass from Hayes. Howard goes back up with it. No good. Rebound Lambert. Back up top to Hayes. Thought about it. Drives, kicks it out to Hermosillo, who shoots a three. Bang! Jacob Hermosillo trying to ignite the Rams here in the third quarter. Good looking stroke by Hermosillo. See if they can get something going. Momentum is real and the Rams got to get some going here. This is not good. Three pointer. No good. Out of bounds on River Cook. Rams doing so much better on the boards. I know Pond Bluff kept possession but it's an unlucky bounce, but they're right in the battle for it. Braden loses the ball out of bounds. And the Rams will take over. Hayes bringing it down for Lakeside. Howard guarded by Crutchfield. Howard drives, gets a lane, gets it to go. 35 to 20. Rams not out of this yet. What a drive by A.J. Howard. Starting to make his presence felt in the second half. Sometimes all you can do is give it to a guy and sit him down the lane and hope he makes a shot. You know? yeah. And a guy like A.J. Howard can do that efficiently. Howard. Ooh, Hermosillo was open in the corner. Howard missed him. And Not missed a bad shot. look for Howard, but like you said, Hermosillo was open, but you live with it if you're Coach Lamb. Coachfield thought about it. Emerson will pull it. Bang! Randy Emerson, what a shot. For the Zebras. Yeah, good looking stroke from Randy Emerson. You can tell he's a shooter just the way it comes off his fingers. Second made three tonight for Emerson. Hayes, tough look. Oh man, Courtney Crutchfield just oh. slammed it home. Well, welcome to the show. Uh, if you're just tuning in, good gosh. Mr. Courtney Crutchfield. That is a weak. Come on, Howard, corner three. No good. Rebound Crutchfield. Cook was going for it, but a foul is called on River Cook. Crutchfield, I mean, going, just showing off his athleticism. Yeah, that's why he's a D1 commit. 
the football. He plays receiver. Showing off the hops there. What a play. You know, and Lucas, just when the Rams had momentum, Ty Bluff runs off seven in a row. Foul called on Crutchfield. The Rams will regain possession. This Pine Bluff team, you know, it's they're such a difficult team to compete with because you get down by five to ten points and it's almost no way you're coming back. They're very efficient on both ends of the court. Howard baseline kicks it up top to Trusty. Top of the key for three. Got it. Sam Trusty knocks it down. Line drive shot there from Sam Trusty. Cuts it to 19. Give a big thank you to Final Touch Roofing for being the 2023-2024 Lakeside TV basketball season sponsor. In business since 2001, Final Touch Roofing Inc. pledges to provide you with excellent shingle, metal, flat, and stone-coated steel roofing installation and service at fair prices. They provide free detailed roofing estimates and on the same day in most instances. All roofing installations come with a five-year labor warranty, and they also assist with manufacturer's warranties. Another big thank you to Final Touch Roofing. Coach Phil thought about it. Swing around the perimeter. Hall oh, pulls it. No good. Rebound, Crutchfield. He'll go up with it. No good. Emerson put back. No good. Graydon goes up. And he's fouled, and he makes the shot. So... Zebra's just so big in the middle. It's hard to rebound against him. Graydon and Emerson, both super tall in there. Lakeside played great defensively in the post, just didn't grab the ball. And Penner's back in the game. Brought some energy in that first half, see what he can do. Howard on the wing. Back to Hayes. Hayes loses it. Howard shoves Crutchfield. And to be honest, I wish AJ Howard wouldn't have fouled him because we would have to see a pretty cool dunk. But <laughs> that's Howard's third foul. Ball goes off the foot of Howard. It'll be a kickball violation. Not sure what happened there, but Howard ends up with the ball off the inbound. Good job by the Rams, forcing a turnover. Great pass by Trusty to Pinner to corner. Ty Brazil. Bang! Instant impact for Ty Brazil. Just checked in and. First touch, hits a contested three. One even warmed up. Great shot. Crutchfield for three, no good. Rebound trusted. See if the Rams can hit another three. They've hit a couple this quarter. 
Howard tried to drive the baseline. Somehow kept alive. Brazil for three again. No good. Howard is fouled on the rebound. Howard, tough basket for A.J. Howard. Great move to get inside. Good job by A.J. Howard. Finishing with a hand in his face, as he has done a lot tonight. It Courtney Crutchfield was having a conversation with his coach. Pond Bluff's starting to get a little sloppy right now. And if you're Lakeside, take advantage of it. I mean, you got to. Only chance to come back in this one. The minute and a half left in the third quarter. Pinner drives, uses that speed to his advantage. He's fouled. He'll head to the head to the line for two. Great job by Pinner. Forcing the issue. Pinner went 0 for 2 earlier from the line. Makes the first one there. Misses the second. 45-29 is the score. Good miss. Coachfield put way too much on that one inside to Emerson. Hey, he threw a chest pass at him. Try to kill him. Emerson on the wing. Hall. Higgins drives back to Graydon. Great basket. I mean, that was a great job by Darion Graydon. Graydon. He's yeah. playing great basketball yeah, tonight. 12 really points. Is. I mean, a super hard pass from Crutchfield, chest pass. But Graydon was able to keep the possession alive for Pine Bluff. They got a bucket out of it. Howard inside. What a move, but he puts it, puts too much on it. Goes out of bounds. Too much sauce. Saucy, saucy. About 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. 47-29, final up leads. See if the Rams can get a stop here. Oh, it looks like a clean pass, Lucas. Refs think otherwise. Yeah, I don't know about that call, Parker. It's a close one. Yeah, it looked clean to me, but refs have a better angle on it. Twenty seconds left here in the third quarter. Pinner bringing it down, taking his time. We'll say um, offensively the Rams are definitely going to surpass their total. From the first matchup between these two teams, they only scored 30 the first matchup. Pinner fouled by Hall. Pinner's really done a great job drawing fouls tonight. I think this will be his, what, seventh and eighth free throw attempts? Shot a lot of free throws. He has. Makes the first there. Second free throw on the way. And got it. Shooter's touch for Mr. Pinner. Five seconds left in the third quarter. Crutchfield is going to drive and lay it in. That'll do it for the third quarter. 48, no, 50 to 31. Pine Bluff leads. I want to take a moment to recognize the Lakeside I want to take a moment to recognize the Lakeside dance team in Orlando for the Nationals. 
15th in the nation. Wow. Quite the accomplishment. Yeah. There's a lot of dance teams in the world, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Wish I knew how to dance. Oh. Yeah, Parker, I... Me too, man. Me too. We can not, learn to get... Not a lot of dancing going on up here. No, but uh, some days you don't need a dance. for the start of the fourth. Waiting on the clock to get set. Looks like they're gonna clean up a wet spot. 13, Dindy. Mr. Dindy. Dindy, Dindy. Dindy, Dindy Doodah. Dindy Doodah! <laughs> Where are your shoes? I don't, that's not from anything. What I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't know. Fitter drives, puts up a shot, no good. Is that a foul on Dindy? Foul on Lakeside. Nope. You know, this is random, but every time I see uh, the name Graydon, I think of Grady. And then I think of Cheyenne O'Grady, because like the red. Great tight end for Arkansas, though. Dindy. Drive, foul, calls for a travel action. Dindy! Dindy did, did, Dindy did he? Dindy diddled a little bit too much, Dindy. It just seems like a British name to me, Dindy. I, got, I don't know. Oh, wow. wow. Ty Brazil put R Randy Emerson on the floor. Good jolly. Miss Molly. Ty Brazil, corner no, three. Didn't. No good. It gets its own rebound. Stays in bounds. Drives. Foul. No jump ball. Emerson clearly didn't like that. He uh, ripped it right out of the hands of Mr. Brazil. Not Trayvon Brazil. <laughs> Thank goodness. Love triangle. Emerson for three. Bang! Another three from Randy Emerson. Boy, he's like, uh, he's just, that works. My golly. I mean, he's been the best shooter in the court tonight. Oh. That was loud. That was loud. It's just like a ton of tapping. Brazil drives, running like a running back. I'm surprised they didn't call it travel. I think something's in the ball tonight, the basketball. I can feel it coming tonight. Stop. I don't think we can see that. Hold on. That's an intimidating chance coming from the cheerleaders from Pine Bluff. I'm scared. Respect the Penner for three. Oh, I had to think of his name. I was lost. Oh, oh it goes off <laughs> Emerson's head. Look out. <laughs> it goes out of bounds. Oh, man. Well, the ball trickles harmlessly out of bounds. No one was hurt. I bet he didn't even feel it. Pinner. He's a hard-headed... Ah, no. <laughs> no, that was terrible. Never we mind. apologize. That was apologize. very inappropriate. That was very inappropriate. Lambert. See if they can find Emerson again. You know, maybe he's got 11 on for a reason. Clay Thompson can shoot. Kyrie Irving can shoot. And uh, Emerson can shoot as well. Malik Terry got the basket there. Lambert trapped. Gets it out to Hayes. Hayes drives. Wow. Way too high for Hermosillo, but he got it. Holy moly. He's fouled you hard. Me? All right, let's not get our QB1 hurt. Well, well that, former. That, 
and we lost it. So thanks for bringing that up, actually. Yeah. Uh, you just ruined a lot of people's days. I did. I did. I apologize. You ruined mine, for sure. <laughs> I apologize. But you know what would make this day better? If the Rams had eight threes in a row and tied the game. Gets it to Pinner up top. Guarded by Malik Terry. Anyway, Hermosillo guarded by Ember. I think right now, Lakeside's best bet, in all honesty, is get the ball to someone who's feeling themselves and go a little 1v1 street ball. And try and get a bucket. Pinner for three. No good. Gonna fight for the rebound. Wow. Hermosillo's got it. What a job by Hermosillo. Hermosillo corner three on the way. No good. Rebound. Strong Graydon. rebound by Graydon. Sounds, Mr. Graydon. Yeah, it sounds like a, a villain. Yeah, he does. Lord Graydon. We got Dende, and then we got <laughs> Graydon. The personalities on this pie team. Emerson, Emerson for three. No good rebound. And then Terry, Terry. Whoa. Back it up, Terry. Back up, Terry. Whoa, Terry. And then, and then we got Emerson, who, to be quite frank with you, I'm not going to be surprised if we see him in the NBA three-point contest. <laughs> okay. To be honest. Who you got, Curry or Ionescu? I don't know how to say it. Curry. Curry. Let's, let's, uh, let's be honest with ourselves. First free throw's no good. I don't know, man. Ionescu, pretty sure she oh, knocked yeah. down 37. No, oh, yeah. She's and Curry's a bucket. Is 31. She's a bucket, but uh, I feel like there's levels. You know, greatest shooter God ever created in terms of Stephen A. Smith words. I'm going to give a shout-out to Final Touch Roofing. It's a great company, to be honest with you. To be quite frank, they're one of the best. Howard up top, gets past Emerson. Dunk him. Oh. There goes my hero. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. Let's get the crowd going. Yeah, yeah. Defense. 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 Nobody? E oh. All well, right. No, we see how it is. Well, we got the ball back, so. Oh, offense. Cool That's why they weren't chanting with us. Offense. 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 Hayes. For 25 to go. Oh, yeah. Please don't start singing. We have hit the 420 mark. Sam Gross is in the game. Sam Gross. And they're guarding him like he's Steph Curry. They watch film. I'll they watch film. What. Lambert. Oh. There goes my hero. A little over four minutes to go. Rams down 55-31. It's okay, though. Oh. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Timeout. Interesting timeout. Pine blood? You know, this is it's Billy not Dixon. bad to be down by 24. Just remember the late, great Kobe Bryant. This drink's for you. That Pine Bluff fan having a great night tonight. You won't see any of that going on in the lake side. No. You know, this game, Lucas, has taught me that life is full of ups and downs. Life's not fair. You know, it's not. It's full of ups and downs. And, you know, the ups, things are going great. So there's not really a whole lot to learn. But the downs. Emerson for three. No good. Rebound, Terry. Put it back up. Got it. The downs you get to learn from. Ethan you know? Downs, Oklahoma. Yeah. Oh, uh, Oak Oklahoma. There it goes. Yep, I don't. Uh. Hayes floater is good. And Lakeside has been given 
a wonderful learning experience tonight. They can regroup after this game and get ready for Lake Hamilton next week and fix what they didn't do tonight. I need the, I need the Zebras to not put up 60. Did you take the under? I did not gamble. Okay. I did Just not advise sure. gambling. Just making sure. I'm Lakeside I'm TV does not advise gambling. We do not. It is um, stolen by Lakeside. Not a good idea. Hayes bringing it down. Guarded by Terry. Scary Terry. Stole it away by Pine Bluff. Here he goes. Oh. Nice little layup, 59-33. I was ready for some takeoff, some uh, Westbrook-esque action there. See if Howard can get something going here with 2.40 to go. Gross, corner three. He's a little cold. It's all right. They did wait till the end to put him in. They did. It was his first touch of the game. Can't blame him. Emerson for three. No good. Gets his own rebound. Drives. I mean, really? Wow. I think he's going to the league someday. I really do. I may or may not have just lost a singular dollar. Ball's poked out of bounds. I thought. No, I mean, like, I, I just, like, I dropped it. Oh, okay. I dropped it earlier, and I don't know where it went. Oh, that's not, that's not good. Hey, floater's no good. Gets his own rebound. Gets I've, it to Cook. I pray that Who you find it. I pray that you find it. Well, I don't think I'll be finding it. Lakeside is a big campus. Yeah. Hot Springs yeah. is a decently sized city. We host tourists and visitors, and if you ever want to come down here and take a look at the Great Lakes, you can. <laughs> Oh, man. Graydon pulls it. No good. Little over a minute to go here in the ball game. Oh my goodness. If, oh. if they would have caught a foul, we would have saw Dindy in transition. Dindy dunk. Dindy the dunk. Dunk him, Dindy. Please, Dindy, do it for your mother. <laughs> we have devolved into nothing. <laughs> Speaking of meatballs, Howdy <laughs> with the Chance of Meatballs is a great movie. I know y'all didn't hear that, and I kind of forgot about that. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're going to move on. We're going to go ahead and move on here. 61-35 with a minute to go. If you had... Any kind of meatballs tonight for dinner, or whatever. I hope you have a great weekend. Me as well. I second that. I second that. Meatballs are great. Howard, food. corner three. Bang. Oh, no good. You drinked it by saying bang. Howard trapped, gets it to Lambert on the wing. Sam Gross, top of the key, pulls it. No good. Rebound, Emerson. He might have a double double. A double, double. Double, double? What'd you say? Emerson might, <laughs> Emerson might have a double double. Oh. I doubt it. Really? Yeah. He's had a lot of rebounds. No. <laughs> Not really. You can't just say no. Hayes. If anybody has a double double, it's. Dindy! Dry. <laughs> oh my. It's. Um, I would like Whoa. to say, before the game ends, 30 seconds ago, uh, I want to give a shout-out to Luke Viscardis. He's in the student section. He's a junior. Great guy. Um, if you haven't met him, meet him. <laughs> uh. I sure shout-out our wonderful crew tonight. Oh, yeah. Top dollar. Speaking of dollars. <laughs> uh, I lost one. <laughs> Pablo. Britton Diaz. Amon. Presley Hudson. Presley Hudson. Snape Patel. Miss Dodd. Brody Rima, our wonderful teacher, Miss Dodd. Max Story, and there he is. 
Oh, wow. Look at that shirt. That's beautiful stuff. Hates. Rams fall 61 to 35. We hope we hope you had a had some sort of fun watching the broadcast. We try our best. We do. We do. We give it our all. Well, coming up next Tuesday, Lake Hamilton. Um, but for now, I've been Luke Stubberville. And I've been Parker Huddle. God bless. And go Rams. Whichever camera it is. <laughs>